name is Matt Stoner. I'm the product manager for automated lighting at ETC and High End Systems. Well, automated lighting is a pretty new thing at ETC, and uh, with the acquisition of high-end systems, we wanted to get out here to start working with people, showing them what we have to do. So uh, I'm here showing our new Releve Spot, and also showing off some of the new high-end systems products like the Solo Frame 1000, uh, the Solo Spot 3000, and Frame 3000, and, and helping to raise awareness of all, all of our products. So the latest products we're bringing to the market right now are the Releve Spot, which we'll be launching very soon. Uh, this fixture uses an additive color mixing system with red, green, indigo, and lime, which means that it can make beautiful colors, uh, really, really powerful colors. Um, no matter what color you're looking for, whether it's R80, R69, any one of the gel colors you may look at, uh, it's really powerful. And, and it's really designed to be an amazing theatrical automated light. So all of your, your various um, theatrical uh, design choices and colors and gobo styles uh, the way that you use a, a fixture out of focus or with, a, with a, a diffusion in it, it's designed to capture the theatrical imagination there. We also have some other new fi fixtures from high-end systems that we're bringing around, including the Solo Frame 1000. Uh, the Solo Frame 1000 is a new, incredibly bright, medium-sized fixture with 20,000 lumens. Um, and a, an incredibly wide feature set, including framing, uh, just like all of our solar frame fixtures have. Uh, you know, as far as ETC and high-end systems are going, we're really committed to making new and exciting products. Uh, with our high-end systems brand, we're planning on continuing to make products into the entertainment market for concerts, for trade shows, for all the different types of uh, rental houses and venues that uh, automated lighting is currently designed for. And with our ETC moving light brands, we're hoping to continue to, or sorry, we're planning on continuing to make theatrical moving lights uh, designed for the core customers of ETC, which are the theatrical designers and, uh, and customers. Well, well, I'm very happy to be here and, and be showing you all of the great technology and, and fixtures that we have. Uh, we've been developing moving lights uh, through high-end systems for quite some time now and uh, kind of giving a new uh, look on moving lights with our ETC brand. So we're really looking forward to showing everybody uh, what we can do and how we do it uh, and giving you new and wonderful tools for the kind of art that you do. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for the wonderful introduction. Yes, please. And thank you for the, the very kind words about our, our late founder, uh, Fred Foster. So um, I have been asked to come here today to give a speech. First of all, uh, my name is Matthew Stoner. I'm the automated product manager for marketing of automated lighting uh, at ETC, and I also uh, we represent the high-end systems lighting brands. And today I'm gonna to give you a speech or a presentation talking about our brands of automated lighting and how they interact with each other. And the title, I guess, of my presentation is One Blank, well, blank, does not fit all. And what I mean by that is that one product doesn't fit all, just like one space doesn't fit all, one theater doesn't fit all, one. Uh, arena or, or anything. I guess some stadiums could fit a lot of people, but uh, not all shows are appropriate. And just like that, not all, not one moving light product can fit all types of art or all sizes of venues or all um, types of, of artistic expression. And for that reason, we have many different things. And, and at ETC and High Insistence, we plan on developing our moving lights in our automated lighting in uh, more than one path. So not just going down one path, but going down many paths. And that's why one size does not fit all. Well, oftentimes when we're talking to customers like yourselves, we get a lot of feedback. And we talk to, we go out to the market and we say, okay, well, what, what are you looking for in a product? Are you looking for this or that? And in ver inevitably, or in the end, we always get back the same response. Well, we want something smaller, and we want something brighter and we want something cheaper. Or we want it to be faster, have more speed. We want it to be less heavy, be lighter. Or maybe we want more features, this feature or that feature. And uh, we always take that back to our engineers and we go, okay, so we figured out the perfect light. It's gotta be smaller, it's gotta be brighter, it's gotta be cheaper, and that will be the perfect light. 
Well, our engineers, they come back to us and they say, well, Matt, I can make it smaller and brighter, but it's going to be expensive. It's not going to be cheaper. Or I can make it cheaper and brighter, but I can't make it smaller then. It's going to be big. And what, we've di what we discover is that um, in the end, we can only really pick two of these things. So we can be anywhere on the outside of the triangle and make a really great product. And if we go in the corner, well, we can really get that smaller or brighter or cheaper alone very well, very well done. But if we're trying to do two or three things, we start getting into the middle of the triangle. And the problem is when you get into the middle of the triangle, you end up with something that looks a little bit like that. OK. <laughs> so anyways, let me talk a little bit about um, the two companies. So uh, many of you people are, many of you folks are aware of ETC and also high-end systems, but uh, just a little bit of a background on those two companies for you all. Well, first of all, ETC was founded in the 1970s by Fred Foster, uh, our, our late founder. And he and his brother and some of their friends decided, well, they, they, uh, Fred saw an article in the newspaper that said that uh, a, a famous opera house in the US, the Met Opera, had bought a new lighting control system for $100,000. And Fred saw this article and he said, man, I can do that better. I can do something more cost effective. So he looked at that article and he said, OK, I'm going to do this. And he started to develop his own console with his brothers and his friends. Uh, and this was the basic start of ETC. They took that product that they designed, and they showed it to some other um, console developers, and they ended up doing contract consoling, which means uh, another company would come to them and throw their label on a console that was made by Fred and his team. Uh, and eventually, around 1982, they decided, you know what, we're going to do this for ourselves. We're going to make our own console. And they came out with the first console that ETC made, which was the concept console. And from there, you've seen many, many different consoles, including the Expression, the Obsession, the uh, Ion, and the EOS. So lots and lots of different console products throughout the year as we continue to make new and exciting products. But also ETC branched out into other types of products like lighting fixtures. Uh, and most of you probably are aware of uh, the Source 4, which came out in 1992. I'm getting the message to slow down a little bit, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. I get so excited. The Source 4, which came out in 1992, was an industry-changing product. I'm pretty sure everyone in this room's probably seen a Source 4, probably used a Source 4. And if you haven't, you've probably used a copy of a Source 4, because this fixture kind of reinvented or redefined the theatrical lighting industry. And from that product, we have many other products, like the Source 4 PAR, the Revolution, which was ETC's first moving light in 2004. You also have uh, new products, like uh, in 2012, ETC decided for the first time that they should go into LED fixtures. And this was very important because Fred had a very high opinion of what an LED needed to be. He did not want to move into LEDs until they were ready to be as good as the Source 4 that we all know and love. And for that reason, a company named Celador came to ETC and, and presented them with a really fantastic multicolored source, the Celador fixture. And Fred walked into the room and he said, here's a tungsten fixture. Call me back into the room when you can match that fixture. About 30 minutes later, the people from the company called Fred back into the room, 
And they perfectly matched the incandescent fixture that was pointing at the wall, the source four. And from there, Fred said, OK, now we can talk. And that's when ETC decided to start going into LED products. Well, high-end systems has a very similar story. For high-end systems, uh, they began in the, in the uh, late 70s, early 80s. And they started off doing lighting for uh, clubs, for discos, and for um, bars and stuff like that. So very, very social, entertainment-based lighting. And after doing retrofits of clubs and discos for a while, they started to, to realize, you know what? We can do this better. We, we can make this equipment our own, our own way, and we can make it better than what we're buying from someone else right now. Sounds a little familiar with the tale of how Fred decided to make his company. So the, the founders of high-end systems began making, uh, well, before they were high-end systems, they started making audio cabinets, so speakers. And then after doing speakers for a little while, they said, why don't we make some cool lighting for these installs we're doing? And they created uh, the Color Pro, which is a fixture that's uh, pictured on the wall. And then from there, they started moving into other fixtures. Back then, moving mirror fixtures were very popular. So they continued to develop and, and make moving mirror fixtures, like the IntelliBeam and the TrackSpot. They wanted to be able to control their own destiny, so they built their own dichroic factory so they could make their own glass. And they wanted to, to be a, a full manufacturer, so they continued to make products. They made uh, lights, as I told you, but then they started making consoles. In 1999, they made the Whole Hog console, which many people should be aware of. It was an incredibly popular console, and then that console turned into the Whole Hog 2, which was an even more successful console. And they continued to develop lights, like the X-Spot, and um, other, other moving lights beyond that. And now we have the HOG4, and, uh, and they continue to develop moving lights. So in 2012, oh, I'm sorry, 2013, just about a year after ETC decided to go to LED, High End Systems also decided to go to LED. And these decisions are interesting because they're completely independent of each other. High-end systems and ETC were not involved with each other in any way at that time. Um, so these decisions were made internally at both companies and for separate reasons. Because while Fred Foster decided to go into LEDs because they were beautiful and high quality and could match the type of output that he expected from a tungsten source, high-end systems went with LEDs because they felt they were bright enough to cut through, to, to uh, make that kind of spectacle, that presentation, that excitement that was necessary for the market that high-end systems catered to. So both of these companies, working separately, came up with interesting and similar technologies and very innovative technologies, but not related to each other in the way that they're used in the end. High End Systems was searching for concert and touring and entertainment, uh, more, more flashy entertainment. And High End uh, ETC has always been uh, settled into the theatrical world of, of uh, the way that kind of lighting works. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more. But first, I want to talk a little bit more about how ETC and high-end systems are similar. Well, first of all, or second of all, I guess, both companies are very interested in the education of new technicians and old technicians and helping people to better understand and learn their craft, better understand and learn our products. ETC and high-end systems both do this in, in many ways. First of all, 
We like to offer training classes. ETC and High End Systems have contract trainers all over the world that we hire to teach classes uh, in, in every region. So here in Korea, we have High End Systems HOG training classes as well as EOS classes. Uh, we also do these all over the world so that you know that when you travel outside of Korea, there are people who understand the language of the console that you're, that you're working on. We also like to do seminars like, like this seminar today, where we come out and we teach people about our products and about our company and about what makes us feel, what, what makes us important. And one of those big sessions we do is a, a yearly summer session in Wisconsin, uh, which is where ETC is based. We invite hundreds of people to come to Wisconsin and spend two or three days having intensive workshops, uh, classes, meetings, learning all about all sorts of uh, details of ETC products. There's so many things that make ETC products special that I could never teach you about every single one of them in a in, in 100 days or 100 hours maybe. And we like to give people the opportunity to learn those things so that they can see the difference of what makes our product so special because we really invest our time and our engineering into making the best product we can. And sometimes we have to show you why that's so important. I like what we'll do today. We also do internship programs where we bring in students. Um, we do scholarship programs to trade shows where um, students from around the world can apply to be taken to the trade shows like Pro Light and Sound in Germany, uh, LDI in Las Vegas, and many other trade shows. Uh, those are available to people all over the place. So if you're interested, you could always contact ETC Asia. Uh, and see what scholarships they might have available for trade shows. And we do internships as well at our factory where we bring in students. We bring in um, the theater majors and manufacturing engineers and uh, people who will build lights uh, to teach them about our industry and to teach them about our product lines. We're also very dedicated to service. And uh, I have a quote, and I'm going to read it to you. I think it's kind of interesting. The quote is, it's from Jeff Bezos. The quote is, the best customer service is if the customer doesn't need to call you, doesn't need to talk to you, it just works. And this is Jeff Bezos. He's the uh, CEO of Amazon. A very, very wealthy man. And the thing that I think when I see that quote is, wow, that's not how we do it at all. That, that might work really well for Amazon, where you get on your phone and you order, I don't know, a, a knickknack or thing. And it comes to you, and it, if it's a day late, oh, well, that's fine. I, it's just toilet paper. I don't need it that fast. But in our industry, we need so much more than that, because we know that when you come to us, you're not just buying a knickknack or a doodad which are colloquialisms, I guess, American colloquial, colloquial I'm sorry. They're, they're just things. Um, but when you come to ETC or high-end systems to buy a product, this is part of your life. This is part of your livelihood. This is something that's incredibly important to you and incredibly valuable. And we don't want to just be the, cus the company that you don't need to talk to. We want to be the company that you want to talk to. And one of the quotes that I like even more is something that's very important in showbiz. And you hopefully have all heard it. The quote is, the show must go on. The show must go on. And that's an incredibly important quote, or an uh, uh, not just quote, but uh, sentiment. Because what we're saying is that no matter what, the show has to happen. And we at ETC and at High End Systems will be there with you to make sure that the show goes on. Well, 
there are some other things that are similar about ETC and high-end systems. Well, first of all, our, our capitals. Uh, both of us are state capitals, so in the United States, all of our uh, states are split up into 50 different sections. Uh, Texas, Austin, Texas is where high-end systems is based, or here on stage right. And then on stage left, you'll see a beautiful picture of Madison, Wisconsin. I love it with the lights all lit up like that. We both like cows. That's very important. Uh, Texas, they like cows. Wisconsin, we like cows. But there's differences too. The weather. Texas, it's always nice and sunny and shiny. But Wisconsin, this is not so much. Uh, it was actually negative 40 degrees the week before I left to come here. So two different companies, two different philosophies, very similar in our histories, but very different in our futures and, what, and, and where we want our products to be and go in the future. And I call this the two divergent paths, the two different paths. When we look at high-end systems and we talk about the lights for high-end systems, we're looking at pictures like the ones on stage right, or I'm sorry, house left. Yes, your left. Um, and those are pictures where we're trying to convey excite excitement. Pictures where, or events where, we're trying to take an artist who is just a single person or a couple people on a huge stage and turn them into something larger than life. Uh, an event where 10,000 or 30,000 or 100,000 people are looking through binoculars to see something amazing happen. And they want to feel the excitement. They want to feel that flair and that, and that beauty. And because of that, we concentrate on a, a couple of different things when we're making lights for that scenario. Beams in the air, the way that the light moves through the haze, the way that it lights the air and the crowd. We're looking at coloring the space, not necessarily just the artist. Uh, coloring the entire environment and the world. And, and once again, making that space or that situation look even larger. ETC also has a, has a divergent, a different way of looking at things. When we make lights for ETC, we're trying to look at the theatrical mindset, the way that you would do a show on a smaller stage, like maybe this stage, but not just any show, a dramatic show or a passionate show. Something where the most important thing on the stage is the person in front of you on the stage. And we're not trying to take your attention away from that person. We're trying to draw your attention into that person. So with ETC lights, it's all about how making them look beautiful, making that person look beautiful, texturing the set, the scenery around them, and also trying to convey the emotions that that person is demonstrating. Whatever the scene, whether it's a ballet dance scene, or a dramatic play. So with those two different paths in mind, what is the difference between, how, how do we take that into account when we're designing and looking at new products and what we're going to de design? Well, first of all, with high-end systems, our number one feature is always going to be brightness. We're always trying to give you that really impressive, amazing, bright beam in the air. Something that you can see from far, far away. Something that is impactful, that gives you, uh, gives you uh, excitement. And we do this by having it be very bright, but we also do this by giving you a very wide 
array of features that you can use with these fixtures. Our automated lighting products at high-end systems are developed around the concept of giving you as wide a feature set as possible. This wide feature set allows you to use the light in as many ways as you can, whether it be using framing shutters or multiple gobo wheels, uh, frost flags, animation, prism, iris, color mixing, cyan, magenta, yellow, CTO, color wheel. A very wide and broad feature set, in addition to this brightness, is what characterizes these high-end systems fixtures. And for that reason, we start with a white source, because the white source allows us to give you that very, very high output, that lumen number, that, that wattage number, that makes you know this is going to be a very bright fixture. And when I point it through the haze, I will have a bright beam. Well, at High End Systems, we also have other things that are important to us, like quality. And when we talk about quality for High End Systems, we talk about it in a, in a, in a very specific way. We want to make a light that is designed for the road, a light that is designed to uh, continue to go, come in and go out, do rental in rental packages and on tour and trade shows and entertainment shows. And for that, it needs to be very durable. For high-end systems, it's also very important that we maintain a very quick speed to market. If you have looked at the industry around and you see all the moving lights that are, that are moving around in the industry right now, what you'll notice is there are so many lights coming out from many, many different brands. And in order for us to stay competitive in this market, we have to make sure that we are releasing products that are uh, appropriate to the time and, and what the competition is doing that are good products, that are cost-effective products, and that are, once again, have the feature set and brightness that you need. But at the same time, we don't want to cut off our, we don't want to cause ourselves problems by coming out with products so quickly that we make our product line obsolete the, sec the next year. We want the products that you have from us to be valuable and to be industry-leading products for a long time. So right now, I'm going to show a video. And in this video, during this video, I want you to obviously enjoy, but also, I want to make sure that you look at what the lights are doing, how they're behaving, how they're acting, and, un and, and I think you'll understand better what we do with high-end systems products. 